The preparation of students for college, it's, it's changed in the past few years largely because of the great acceleration of students in high school who are trying to get into more and more advanced courses earlier and earlier. And one of the things that we've seen is a real explosion in, in calculus in, in high school. Uh, to the point now where, where most of the students taking calculus in college have already taken it in high school. Many more students uh, take start calculus in high school than, than start it in college. And many students are ready for this. Uh, that, that's fine for them. But what we do see in college is a lot of students who've been rushing through the earlier preparatory material so that by the time they get to calculus at a college or university, it, it's not the calculus as such that they have trouble with, but they're, they're lacking the foundation that they need in order to succeed in that calculus. I'm really excited about the Common Core State Standards as an opportunity for more kids to take more and better mathematics. In particular, I'm really excited that more kids will have the opportunity to get a solid foundation for taking calculus. My experience both as a high school calculus teacher and now working on the Advanced Placement Development Committee for Calculus has made it even more apparent to me that it's really important that kids have this grounding, that they understand the key fundamental ideas in mathematics before they embark on calculus. And the new Common Core State Standards provide that opportunity. And we're excited because more and more kids are taking calculus. Um, we just want to be sure that when kids are taking calculus, they really have the foundation that's necessary in order to do well, to really understand, so that when they get to the university, they're not um, looking at their mathematics professor, wondering what they're really talking about, because all they memorized were certain formulas and procedures. There's a strong national concern with the, uh, the need to prepare more engineers, to prepare more scientists, to prepare more students who are mathematically literate, who can work on the, uh, the large databases that we've got, uh, the big computing issues that we've got. Uh, so we need a lot more young people with a lot more training in the mathematical sciences. And tremendous concern about the fact that we're losing so many promising students. So what, what's also nice about the Common Core standards is that um, in addition to prepping for the, you know, the traditional sequence that leads to calculus study, it also creates a stronger foundation in modeling and then also in statistics. So we're seeing um, at all grades, well, really starting with sixth grade through the high school courses, a treatment of um, a, a deeper treatment of statistics than many of us have seen before. But then we also see on the other end um, preparation for advanced placement statistics or a deeper study of statistics. And, and um, this really will help for a wide variety of careers. Because when you think about all of the non-traditional math STEM careers, if you think about um, any career field that's going to require research of some sort, you need to have some statistics background so that you can support the research that you're doing. There isn't just one route uh, to being successful as a scientist or an engineer or somebody working in, in the mathematical sciences. There, there are lots of different ways of getting there. Statistics is one of the great ways. And I know so many young people who thought they were no good at mathematics, they didn't like mathematics, and then they got into statistics. And they found suddenly that there was something that they really enjoyed and they needed more of that mathematics to support it. One of the things that I, I really appreciated from being president of the Math Association of America was that it, it gave me contact with a lot of people who are really interested in what's going on in, in both K-12 mathematics education and also in post-secondary mathematics education. And uh, th there's a recognition among mathematicians that if students are going to succeed in mathematics at the college level, uh, they've got to be explorers of mathematics. They've got to be people who, who can take an unfamiliar problem and try to think about what's the right mathematics to use here. And that's one of the things that people are very encouraged uh, by in the, the Common Core uh, because of the fact that, that there's so much emphasis on the real understanding. And I've been pleased to see a lot of the mathematicians who've been very critical of earlier efforts uh, to reform mathematics education who are now strong supporters of the Common Core because they see that this is doing what really needs to be done and it's doing things right.